Okay, good morning, good afternoon, everyone, dear colleagues from BSC. My name is Diaiza, and I work in Travels Department. This presentation I'm doing today is not just in my name, but also in the name of all departments, assistants, and directors' assistants. We all together take care of the organization of the trips you do. Maybe this presentation is a nonsense, because I'm probably talking to some of the people who will develop teletransportation within the next years. It would be of course, eco-friendlier and faster than the traditional methods or means of uh, transport that we use nowadays. But don't hurry up too much with this investigation, okay? Because we would like to keep our workplace here. Our slogan is, we travel with you. It's, of course, a metaphor. Can you imagine? Low-cost companies barely take you, let you take two pieces of hand luggage with you. So they will never let you travel with your travel manager. It's a metaphor, but what we mean with this metaphor is that we are involved in all the organization of your trip, from the moment you get in touch with us until the moment you get your, reimburse, your reimbursement, we are in contact with you. Maybe sometimes you just need us to book transportation, but the venue that you are attending is far away from an airport. No problem, we'll find an alternative way of reaching this place, maybe by train, Maybe you can rent a car, or why not by bus? Because you all love to travel by bus, right? <laughs> no problem. Some other times you need us to book a hotel, we will find the perfect option for you. Always taking into account the three magic words. You know them, right? What? Are you going to say bueno, bonito, and barato? You must be kidding, right? We work at BSC. Everyone should know three magic words are within the budget. <laughs> Think about these words, let them sink in your brain, <laughs> and all your business trips will be fantastic. Don't want you to faint, so I will move back. Sometimes we take risks, it's true. I confess, I booked a modern hostel I had never heard about before. I was so scared. My one meter 80 tall traveler wouldn't fit in the bed. He came back and I asked, how was it? He said, no, yes, no problem, it was great. And the location was excellent, right in front of the workshop that I was attending. I said, thank God, this time the risk was worth it. Other times, it's not worth it. Once the traveler came back and said, do you know you made me sleep in a motel? <laughs> OK, we're sorry about that. It won't happen again. We take note of it. Because another way of uh, another part of our job is to stay informed. You know, what do I do when I wake up every morning? Any guess? Of course, I brush my teeth. But the second thing I do in the morning is I go right to the computer and I check the newspaper. Let's check what's going on in the world. For example, a couple of weeks ago, my colleague told me, yeah, I said, did you hear about the strike in France? All the country is collapsed. OK, girls, stop everything we're doing. We have to check which towers are going to France next week. One of them contacted me said, Yaisa, I just got a notification. My flight is canceled. What can I do now? OK, let's check. There's no way to reach France by train, nor by plane, maybe by bus. <laughs> this time we had to cancel the trip. There was no other option. But I called the airline. This is another part of our job. We got in contact with the airline and we asked for a refund. We got that money back for the company. No problem, keep going. This is our part of our job. But you also help us to work. That's the collaborative way of working I was talking about before. We use your feedback a lot. It's really helpful. F helpful, sorry. For example, you come back from China and you say, do you know there's a 72-hour visa in China for flights to Bovers? Perfect, we know that. And I will tell your colleague, because he's traveling there within two months and he's freaking out. You can also tell us in Korea, you have to return the metro ticket to get the money back. Now we'll tell you, OK, take a picture. Don't forget it, because that's the way for you to get the reimbursement when you come back. That's the justification. That way, I won't bother you when you're back. 
step by step, both using the information you provide and the information we get from the media, we'll be creating the Travelpedia. This will be, will be the perfect way for all your business trips to be easy, smooth, and simple. We also use your feedback to know that we are in the right path. We're always here with a smile on our face, even if you miss a flight. We will try to solve your problems, answer all your questions and doubts, both to BSC staff but also visitors. And no matter how complicated your trip is or seems to be, we will aim for excellence so you can do your job. This is our job. We love to do it. And we know you love us too. <laughs> Along with the growth of the company, the number of trips has been increasing. And here you can check what happened until now. We have a really exciting 2020 coming for you. But first, let's check what we did this year. The number of trips we organized, the travelers you visited, the travelers we assisted, and the economic impact your trips had. You know that checking these numbers, shouldn't you start thinking about teletransportation? <laughs> thanks for your votes, and thanks for your attention.